When you have two huge tent companies both deciding to take what could be argued as their flagship tents and then making a high-end super ultralight version of them, it begs a video comparison. So in this video, we're going to walk through the differences of each and the similarities. By the end of this video, hopefully you will have discovered what's right for you. I want with everything inside of me to tell you my favorite tent. It's possible I might do that, maybe, maybe not. I, I don't know if I have a favorite, but I do, but I don't. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. Now these particular tents are the high-end versions of these two tents. So we've got to start the Nemo Hornet Elite. So this is the high-end version of just the Nemo Hornet. And this is the two-person version. And then over here we've got the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2 Platinum. <laughs> I think I said that right. Uh, that's also a two-person version. Essentially, both of these tents have a pole that goes down the middle only. So because of that reason, this foot end, this is where your feet would go, it's just kind of flopping around. So you have to stake it out at least on the foot end with two stakes, both of these tents, like this to open it up. That's why it's semi freestanding. The big difference between these two tents, in my opinion, is the footprint size. So the Nemo is definitely the narrower. Big Agnes is definitely the wider of the two tents. And I would think that the Big Agnes is more of a two person, like real two person tent, because this tent has a ton of headroom in it for two people. Now you can keep your gear out in the vestibules, two people can sit up comfortably in there, and you really don't have to worry about like bumping too much inside of there. The Nemo on the other hand, it's really more of a glorified one person tent. Now yes, you can absolutely sleep two people in here because the floor space is very similar between these two tents as far as what pads you can put in there and how they fit. But when you sit up in this tent, it's almost like you can only sit up one at a time because the uh, tent, the net mesh portion of the tent is really gonna hit you <laughs> in the head if you both try to stand up in there or sit, or excuse me, sit up in there. So uh, keep that in mind when you're looking at these two tents. One thing that Nemo has done very well uh, to sort of alleviate the problem or help alleviate the problem with the head space, the interior space, is on the inside here, very cool, which I have not seen a ton on tents. Now they may be out there, but I haven't seen them, is they've put a little, a cable here with a little hook, a little guy line here. And then on the inside here, it's got this little loop. And all you do is you connect it like that. And now it's gonna connect to the vestibule and it's gonna kind of open up the interior of the tent a little bit more. And it's nice even if you're, you know, roll around at, light, at night, uh, you don't like the tent kind of folding in on your face. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Now it will take away some of the vestibule space by sort of pulling it back in a little bit. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal from what I found. Uh, as long as you've got your gear shoved underneath there really well. And you know, even if your gear is kind of touching on the outside like this, it's not a big deal because this sort of acts like a rain cover anyway. I haven't had any problems with, you know, gear being shoved under here at all and getting wet or, you know, any problems like that, especially since you've got a vestibule on both sides of the tent if it's just a one person tent that you're taking this for. The Big Agnes, um, on the other hand, has, interior space that you're never gonna have to worry about, in my opinion. But again, the big problem is, is the footprint of this tent. It's much wider, so finding a location, you know, it's not terrible, uh, but it is, you know, a little bit more looking than you're gonna have with the Nemo, for sure. The other big difference between this tent and the Nemo is the Nemo has sort of like that rainbow size, or rainbow style door to it. Uh, the Tiger Wall has two zippers, which is definitely nice. These are much easier to open up in my opinion. It doesn't really fall in your face as much. That's kind of nice. Uh, but the interior space on this tent is definitely proven by the size of the brow pole on the top of the tent here. So there's a, a pole that goes uh, perpendicular to the pole that goes the opposite direction. It's gonna make the headroom way bigger, obviously much easier to sit up in. When setting up these tents, they're both color coded, which is awesome. A lot of tent manufacturers don't color code their ends. It's they think that we're geniuses and we can easily tell where the head end and foot end is of things. So that's super, super nice. Um, also, the corners of these tents are adjustable. Big Agnes here though, let me see. This uh, foot end has an adjustable uh, spot here to sort of make the tent nice and taut. You've got two more on the back. The Nemo, this is not adjustable. Oh, here we go. 
But this end is definitely adjustable here. Okay, so we've got these two are nice and adjustable. And also the rain fly ends are adjustable. Whereas the tiger wall is not adjustable. Okay, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Tent manufacturers, let's all get there. Just make all the ends adjustable. One big difference too between these two tents is um, the rain fly. Now, um, I have not experienced problems with either of these tents. I've had both in the rain. The Nemo here, as you can see, has the back side of this uh, rain fly kind of comes up like this on a U spot here. So um, I, I'm not sure why they do that. It does, you know, possibly cause somewhat of an issue. I've heard some people maybe having problems when it rains that water can sort of, you know, over time the nylon can stretch, can collect here and then get inside the tent. I've never had that happen to me in the rain, and I've had this uh, definitely in some rainy situations. Um, and I do think this is kind of nice though, maybe for ventilation even a little bit. So there's no vent on the top of the Nemo to ventilate on the inside, um, but this does help with ventilation for sure. And the rain fly, I do like that it, you know, tents nowadays aren't going all the way to the ground. So that's nice to be able to have ventilation kind of go in and out of the tent as well. The big Agnes here is there's definitely more coverage overall uh, with this tent. Um, the difference is for sure in the back when you don't have the rain fly kind of cut up and open like this. Um, and then it does also have the ability to stake out for ventilation back here. And then on the inside here, there's sort of a privacy wall that goes up a little bit higher, sort of that, like the Nemo over there, but not nearly as high. So ventilation probably isn't as great but it's not bad at all. And what um, Big Agnes has done that a lot of manufacturers are actually doing to help with ventilation uh, that the Nemo tent does not have, which I'm actually very surprised that it doesn't have it, is the dual zipper here. So um, the reason tent manufacturers are putting dual zippers, so there's a zipper at the bottom to unzip here, but then there's also another zipper that, you know, obviously the same zip, but you can open this up so that you can have a way to ventilate up here um, and it's got a little bit of a sort of an awning here uh, to help if it's, you know, weather to stop rain from coming in there. But that's really nice. There is a little bit of a privacy wall uh, if you have this off, the, the rain fly off. Some people think that's a big deal. So just know that that's there. But it's kind of see-through. So I don't know. Not much of a privacy wall if you ask me. Come on. There we go. Good. Thanks for coming in. Okay. So uh, this tent is built for two people to sit up, like I said, very easily on the inside. This tent has the pocket up here so you can store gear in it. Each person's got a pocket here so you guys can store gear down here. It's got little um, holes in the pocket up top if you wanna throw you know, your headphones or something in there and hang them down. Uh, it's got places for headlamps to hang, very nice. I do like the white of this because it kind of wakes me up in the morning, gets me out of the, the tent sooner so that I can have a better day of hiking. Um, all of the tent's seams are fully sealed, so you're not gonna have to worry about anything, um, you know, having to do it yourself when you get home. Another thing I really like about the Big Agnes are these zipper pulls. Every one of them have these little plastic sort of pulls here, so they're just easy to grab, like at night and that kind of thing. Now, these are the higher end versions, which essentially means you're paying more money for less weight and honestly less material as well. Uh, it just makes the tent um, lighter, it's easier to carry, but they're trying not to cut back on features. And you would think that this tent would be really flimsy because of how thin the nylon is everywhere. It's, it's really not that bad at all. I definitely would recommend a footprint with either of these tents for sure, just because the nylon is thin and you just want to make sure that you're protecting it. All right, uh, the Nemo. Okay, very thin nylon as well. I think this is, gosh, 70. I said I wasn't going to do stats. <laughs> I think this is a 70 wall and a 10 D floor. And I don't think that Big Agnes lists how thick the nylon is on their website. Um, at least I couldn't find it. But let me see. Man. I it feels almost identical. Like, look how thin that is. You see my hand through it there? Then look over here. It's kind of, I think it's, it looks identical. I bet you they're both 70. They really feel similar. I mean, everything about them. Sneaky, you two, sneaky. The Nemo, like I said, has this rainbow style door, which isn't terrible. I've got lots of tents with a rainbow style door. 
Just sometimes they can be a little more work to open. Not a big deal. Let's go inside the tent, shall we? Come on in. Whoa, what is that? There's a wasp in here. Holy cow. That is a wasp. Yeah, that's a wasp. Oh, get. Why? Well, why it's, me? It's called the Nemo oh, Hornet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Court said. That's why they call it the Nemo Hornet. All right, let's go back in with a wasp list. Oh, there's a bee. There's a bee. Close it quick. If you guys see it, come towards me. Let me know. Right away, you can tell there's way less headroom in this tent, even with these toggles pulling this open. So, like I said, this is definitely a glorified one person tent uh, for sitting up in, for like spending time and sleeping. You'll definitely be fine. Uh, but this tent does have some pretty good features as well. I mean, it's got a toggle here, here, and here for putting your uh, headlamps in. Everybody's got a nice pocket. Uh, one really cool, <laughs> one really cool feature is right up here. It's got this white fabric here to uh, be able to throw your headlamp up there and diffuse the light. So that's kind of nice as well. But um, the floor space in here is a tiny bit smaller by like maybe an inch. So it's really not that big of a deal. Um, the foot end does kind of angle a little bit more this way. So if you got stuff piled up at the end of your tent, like maybe a really big sleeping bag, or you're throwing some gear under there, just know that it's probably going to push up on the outside of the tent a little bit. Not a big deal though, because the rain fly is pretty far away from the inside of the tent here. So that's, I think, not going to be a problem whatsoever. Seam sealed very well. This tent doesn't even have a seam going down the middle like the Big Agnes, which is kind of nice. I'm not sure why the Big Agnes has a seam. Uh, one thing I do like as well is that the uh, the mesh on this is a dark color too. So like at night and you're looking up at the stars, the dark color isn't going to uh, block the sky as much either. So that's really nice where the Big Agnes is a white mesh interior. So that's gonna obviously have a little bit more problems with light at night, especially when you've got your headlamps on. So both of these tents are made really well. It's such a tough call. I do like the aesthetics of the Nemo for sure. I think it's a much cooler looking tent um aesthetics may not be that big of a deal for some people for me i like it um, i'm not super into stealthy camping so i don't mind having a bright yellow tent not a big deal uh, plus i like obviously to film so a bright yellow tent is going to pop more on film pictures that kind of thing so if you're a uh, you know cinematographer videographer you like to take pictures of where you camp you want you might like that this one is definitely a little more stealthy even though it's sort of a whitish color it's almost like a, not really bright white, it's almost grayish white. But um, this is gonna look like a, like a rock off in the distance. So, okay, that aside, which tent is the winner? Which tent is Dan Becker gonna tell you to buy? And if you buy the wrong tent, you'll be the biggest loser ever. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you to not buy either of these tents. Honestly, you cannot go wrong with either one. The price difference, this tent over here, the Nemo, is going to run you uh, $500, I think. <laughs> the Tiger Wall Platinum is going to run you $550. So yes, they are very expensive tents. So if you backpack a lot, it's going to be worth it to you. You may want to get the other versions of this, the regular Hornet or the just the regular Tiger Wall. And you're going to save yourself $150 over here. You're going to save yourself $100 over here. I sort of did the math. The Tiger Wall is on average eight to nine percent more than the Nemo. But I feel like you're like getting eight to nine percent more tent out of this based on just the materials and the size alone. And you may not need all that size. So this is gonna be a lot of footprint, a lot of headroom. It's really built for two people. This one is okay for two people if you wanna cram people in there. But the footprint is so much smaller. You can put this in more places when you're camping. It's just an easier tent to set up overall uh, based on location. Now the headroom isn't that big of a deal for me if it's just one person in there. It's actually perfect. This tent even weighs a little bit less. So honestly, if it's me and I'm going by myself, I'm probably gonna take the Nemo. Um, one, I want it to look good on film. It's yellow, it's gonna pop. And I just don't need all that extra room. Uh, that the Tiger Wall provides. However, man, this is a great tent too. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments which tent you would rather go backpacking with. <laughs> did you guys like this video? I hope you did. If you did, thumbs up. If you didn't, just click on another video. And I will see you on the next one.